okay students welcome to our second class uh, second session in the lab today we will draw simplified and schematic representation of external and internal threads we will review the basic thread terminologies like what is major diameter what is minor diameter what is a pitch thread length and thread angle and then we will redraw the simplified representation for the external thread and schematic representation of the internal and the external thread see it is important to understand the difference between the simplified representation and schematic representation so let's review the basic thread terminology so this is your external thread and this is your internal thread now this is called as a crest of the thread and here it is another side the crest of the thread when we measure the diameter from the crest to crest we get a major diameter and when we measure the diameter from the root of the thread to the root on the other side it is called as a minor diameter so major diameter is a very important parameter everything else depends on the major diameter according to the ISO standards for the threaded fasteners the pitch is the distance between the two screw threads this is a pitch and you can say this is the distance from this thread to this thread also that is pitch then we have the thread angle this line angle between these two lines the faces or the flanks of the thread is called as a thread angle now this is simplified representation for the external thread this is a front view and this is how the simplified representation for the external thread is in the side view if you have to show the side view we show two circles remember the outer circle is a full circle whereas inside one is an arc now if we look at the front view for the simplified representation the outer line here the thick line that is the major diameter and the thin line here is representing the minor diameter we make a 45 degree chamfer at the end of the screw or the bolt so that it will help it easily enter the nut or the threaded hole we just remove the sharp corner here by chamfering it by 45 degree in the simplified representation also we draw this small line which is making an angle of 30 degree with the axis of the bolt the angle is made with the axis of the bolt 30 degree remember sometimes the position of the bolt itself can be vertical so in that case also we measure the angle with the axis 30 degree for the thread run out this is representing the thread run out what happens here is this is a full depth of the thread from the major diameter to the minor diameter this is the depth of the thread so when we stop threading at the end the 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 groove for the thread will slowly decrease in the depth and it will merge with the outer body of the bolt so that area which is incomplete thread is represented by the thread run out sometimes if you remember if we over tight it and if the uh, the nut climbs on this it is difficult to remove it is difficult to remove right so because it is incomplete thread so that incomplete thread is represented by the thread run out in the simplified representation these are the dimensions here like you know when you say m12 that means you are using the metric system and 12 is a major diameter for the thread usually we take the minor diameter 85 percent of the major diameter for the drafting in the iso tables the standards they re release we will get the table for a particular major diameter there are different options for the minor diameter some will be maybe 82 percent some will be up to 90 percent but for drafting purpose for simplicity we can take it minor diameter is equal to 0.85 percent like 0.85 into d or 85 percent of the major diameter the thread length now here the thread length is measured from the end of the thread to this line here where we are drawing the thread run out this is thread length this will be given to you otherwise you can assume suitable value for the thread length as i said note that the major diameter is represented by a circle and the minor diameter is represented by an arc in the side view so this is equal to the major diameter and this is a minor diameter is an arc you can draw this arc in any quarter but don't make this end of the arc touching the axis or the center line it should be somewhere in between in between not touching this end or this end should not touch the axis vertical axis or the horizontal axis now this is the schematic representation as you can see it is a little bit more uh, work for drawing this but it gives us a feeling that oh something like a screw thread is there 
so sometimes they use the schematic representation in the assembly drawings so here again similarly the distance between the thick lines the thick lines represent the crest for the external thread the distance between the two thick lines is equal to pitch similarly the distance between the two thin lines also will be equal to pitch this is your thread length from this end to the last line here on the left hand side that is your threaded length tl we can call it tl the distance between from from this line to this line is your major diameter whereas the length of the thick line is equal to major diameter and the length of the thin line is equal to minor diameter remember that this is representing the root so this length of this thin line is minor diameter chamfer angle is 45 degree same as before but in this case as you can note there is no thread run out thread run out is the thread run out line is not drawn in the schematic representation side view is same we have the ex external thread so external circle is complete with a major diameter the diameter of this circle is major diameter and inside one is an arc you can put the opening of the arc in any quarter no problem and the diameter of this an arc this arc is minor diameter now this is a schematic representation for the internal threads of a square nut we can say this is a square nut and this is a sectional view of the square nut these are the inside threads of the square nut again here the distance between the two thick lines is equal to pitch and the two thin lines also is equal to the pitch the length of the thick line is major diameter whereas the length of the thin line is equal to minor diameter similarly here now here it is opposite because it is a schematic representation of the internal thread the inside one the circle which is inside is a complete circle and the outside one is an arc this is exactly opposite of what we have discussed before for the external thread okay so if we just see this one uh, in a drawing that means there is an internal thread in that part or the threaded hole so inside one is a minor diameter and outside one for this arc is a major diameter the square size you can take whatever specified size uh, size is given in the exercise so we'll open the AutoCAD and draw this exercise in AutoCAD. All these three things we can draw in the same file as per the given data in the lab manual. The data is given to you in the lab manual or your teacher can provide you the data. Major diameter is D. Then according to that we can calculate minor diameter will be 85% of the D. Then 45 degree chamfer angle. The thread run out angle is 30 degree. This is a threaded length. It will be provided to you. TL will be given to you by the teacher teacher can give a different parameters for each student also so that everybody can have a different size for his uh, length uh, and the major diameter of the screw thread this is a side view for the screw thread similarly this is a schematic representation for the external thread same like this but we have here a different representation for the thread and this is internal uh, thread representation all these three drawings we can draw in the same AutoCAD file okay uh, now we'll discuss about the dimensions for the exercise your teacher can give you different number now we'll assume here for this example which i'm demonstrating you major diameter is equal to 30 millimeters all dimensions here are in millimeters i'm not writing unit generally in this whole course we will be using metric system so all dimensions are in millimeter so major diameter d is millimeter so based on that we can calculate minor diameter which is 85 percent of the major diameter or we can multiply the major diameter 30 by 0 0.85 to get the value for the minor diameter you have to memorize this formula here 85 percent of the major diameter is minor diameter so minor diameter will be 25.5 millimeters you can see here the calculations 30 30 multiply by 0 0.85 so this is your minor diameter threaded length we will assume in this case threaded length is equal to 60 millimeters and also in the last exercise in the last shape we as a schematic representation of the internal thread we had to draw a square nut so we'll take the side of the square nut is equal to 45 millimeters so using these parameters we'll open AutoCAD and draw these three shapes which we have discussed before. 